Hello and welcome to another video. This is Jennifer McGuire. A few people asked if I'm still going to do product release close-up videos. And the answer is yes. I was just waiting for the perfect release to come around. And today is definitely one. This is Honey Bee Designs release. Now this came out a few weeks ago, but I'm just now getting around to sharing it with you. This is an excellent release with a huge mix of products. I mean, it has everything you could possibly want or need. So the purpose of this video is to give you a closer look at the products, give you some ideas on how to use them, and then I'll also have a few cards to share with you at the end. I know large releases can be overwhelming, so I'm hoping this video is helpful to you. Please know that I was not asked to do this video and I don't work for Honey Bee, I just really like the release. And if you're more interested in seeing the cards, you can skip ahead to the end if you prefer. Now there are a lot of products here, so just grab a cup of tea or coffee and let's go through them. I did want to mention that throughout the video, I'll have a piece of paper as a reference so this you can kind of get an idea of the sizing. These pieces are four and a quarter by five and a half, which many of us typically use for card making. So I'm starting with the dies first because I feel there's a really good mix in this release. Here we have the Honey Bee Be Bold Alphabet dies. That's there on the left. There are 37 dies included in this set, and the letters are about an inch and a half tall. Then there's also the Honey Bee Be Bold Numeric dies, and that's there on the right. And these are the same size, and there's 17 dies included in this. Now what I really like about these particular dies is the sizing. They're tall but thin, so you're able to fit a word across a card. Sometimes alphabet dies are too big to do anything besides like hi and hello. So you can see how nicely this would fit on a card. And they're bold enough that you could stamp on them and see a pattern. So this would be great for kind of like a spotlight technique or doing kind of a die cut inlay. Many things that you can do with these. And I'll definitely be using these in future videos since the sizing is so good. And for any teachers or fellow mamas out there, Colin and I have already used these on one of his school projects. So it's a good size for that too. Okay, the other favorite of the dies from this release is the Honey Bee Sentiment Banners dies. You know I'm a big fan of sentiment strips and these are fun because the edge ends are already cut to that ribbon look. And there are many different sizes. And I find the width of these is just about perfect for pretty much any sentiment that you may have. I'll grab one of the sentiment stamp sets that I'll show you later in this video just to show you how they fit nicely. So even on that small one, you can stamp you are. You can see how it fits nicely. And then for the longer sentiments, you can see how they fit on the other size banners. So if you have trouble cutting your own sentiment strips, this could really save you some time. And I'll link to a video here showing how you can easily stamp perfectly on these little banners. I got a little trick for you. So I'll link to that video here. There are seven dies included and they're about a quarter of an inch tall. So another fun thing I think you could do with these is to layer two together, one that's slightly smaller than the other, put the top one on with foam tape, and then you could have that double ribbon end. Next we have the Honey Bee Angular Ribbon Dies. There's eight dies in here. Now this is really clever. These are meant to be layered like I just mentioned. So you can get a bunch of different style of ribbon sentiments. So there are the pieces with that have just like an angled cut at the end. Those are meant to be layered on top of the ones that have the ribbon cut at the end. So here I assembled them to show you what they would look like. And you just stamp sentiments across those open areas. It's just something fun and different for your sentiments. Okay, next we have a couple of stacking die sets. The first is the stacking stars set. There are 10 dies in here and the largest one is a little bit smaller than five inches. The smallest star is a little bit smaller than a half of an inch. So it's got all the different sizes you could need. Now mine are still connected. All you have to do is use your little wire clippers to cut the dies apart to use them separately. I really like the stacking banner die set here. It's something different than putting a rectangle in the middle of your card. There are 12 dies here. The largest one is about three and a half by five inches, and the smallest is about a third of an inch by about a half of an inch. These are all approximate measurements, but just to show you how nicely they fit in the center of a card here. 
Of course, these could be used to create like a banner or shaped cards also. Some more stacking dies here. We have the stacking hearts and the stacking pennants. Now the stacking hearts there on the right, that has 10 dies included in it. The largest is about five inches and the smallest is about a half of an inch. You can make a large heart-shaped card from this. You can use them together to do like an inlay technique of a bunch of different sized hearts. Really nice quality. I tested one of them and it cuts beautifully. I'm really excited about the stacking pennants die set. I think it'd be fun to cut a bunch of triangles and create kind of a geometric background or a pattern. It's a great way to use up some scraps you may have. The largest pennant here is about five inches tall and the smallest is about a half inch tall. Lots of different sizes so you can create some really fun patterns. It's also the perfect Christmas tree shape so you can use it for your holiday cards too. Next we have the Scallop A2 card frames dies. Now this cuts solid pieces, not frames, but solid pieces. And the outside edge is scalloped with a faux stitched edge right inside of that. There are seven dies and the biggest is the size of a note card. So four and a quarter by five and a half. And the smallest is about a half inch by one and a half inches roughly. So you could make your own card from this. So you could take two of these and glue the top together to have a fun scalloped edge card. And I know many of you like to make five inch by seven inch cards. So they have the scallop A7 card frames. So these are perfect for those bigger cards. The largest one is five inches by seven inches and the smallest one's about three inches tall by three and a quarter inches wide. And there is eight dies included in this one. So between these two, you would probably have every size rectangle you could possibly need. Next is the bunch of bouquets dies. Now I love to assemble little die cuts into little scenes or into a simple arrangement on the front of a card. And this set is perfect for that. It has 30 dies. So there's flowers, different pots and vases, different leaves. So you can use it in many different ways. Another great way to use up scraps by having those little pieces cut for cards. Okay, let's dive into the stamps, and I'm gonna start with the sentiments. Here we have the Honey Bee with Sympathy stamp set. This is one of those that I feel I'll use a lot since I'm lacking in these kind of sentiments. I like that it has things like, I'm sorry you're not feeling well, sorry you're going through this, uh, I'm here for you, sympathy and prayers. There are an endless number of ways that you can combine these to come up with different sentiments on your card. I know many of us struggle with this type of card, so having a set that gives you a lot of different options for greetings is very helpful to me. There are also the Honey Bee with Sympathy dies. These are sold together. It's got sorry and sympathy. It cuts the word and it also has the shadow die cut. So I cut mine from cardstock and vellum and layered them together. So these are meant to coordinate with the stamp set, but both could be used separately. What I also like is the dies line up with the sentiments in the stamp set, so you could stamp on the shadow die cut if you wanted to. It's nice to have the option to use them together or separately, and I like having the shadow for the words because it helps it stand out on a busy card. Here we have the Honey Bee Thinking of You stamp set on the left and the die set on the right. I like that the stamp set's small, so the price point is excellent. And it has the little sentiments on the bottom that you can use on the inside of your card. Here is what the die set looks like stacked together. I like again that the shadow option is offered. Honeybee does that a lot and I really like that they do that. And it lines up nicely with the stamp set so they can be used together or separately. I like also that it fills a card nicely. Sometimes you want to make a simple card and by having a bold sentiment that fills a card, you can add just little things around it quickly. Here we have the Honey Bee Grateful stamp set there on the left. It has a large word grateful and thankful, along with little words you can team up with it. On the right, we have the Grateful die set. Now, Honey Bee does this also, and I think this is fantastic. They actually have two layers, so you can really layer up your words. You've got the word grateful, you have the shadow around that, and then the third biggest die is a bigger shadow with tiny little piercings around the edge. So you can get a lot of detail for your sentiment. And I will here up in the corner link to a video that I have done using honeybees dies that are like this. Lots of card examples in that video. 
So if you like the look of these large word die cuts and stamps, check out that video. I think you'll get a lot of ideas from it. And just like that grateful die set, there is the thankful die set. And both of these, of course, match up nicely with the stamp set on the left. So you could stamp on the shadow die cuts if you wanted to instead. Now, I plan to make a bunch of cards with this thankful in the center. And on the background, I can use up some backgrounds that I've saved that I ended up not using on cards. Some alcohol ink backgrounds, some watercolor backgrounds, and all I have to do is use some scraps to die cut the sentiments and add on top. Very simple and quick, and I can use up those scraps I've been saving. On the left, we have the Honey Bee Enjoy stamp set. It's another small one with a good price point. The large word enjoy with words that can be teamed up with it, such as I enjoy our friendship, enjoy this treat. This one would be good with the holiday season coming up as we make some handmade gifts. Then on the right, we have the enjoy die set. Again, it has the three dies, the word itself, the shadow, and then the even bigger shadow with the piercing around the edge. I wanted to show you a close-up look at what this looks like with the piercing around the edge to show you how it gives such a great finished look. So here you can see it, really a fun option to have. And I like that Honeybee does this with many of their word dies. Again, that video up in the top corner gives you lots of ideas for these word dies. Here we have the Honeybee Because stamp set on the left and the die set on the right. I'll be honest, I don't send a whole lot of like birthday cards or anniversary cards or things like that. Most of my cards are just because cards, just to tell somebody I'm thinking of them. I think those unexpected cards are the best to receive. So this is a set that I can use for just about anything. I can stamp flowers, I can do alcohol ink, I can do whatever I want on the card and then add just because to it and write a nice message inside. Okay, so if you've watched my videos in the past, you know that I feel teachers are superheroes and that they should be spoiled at any chance we can get. So I was excited about the Honey Bee Special Teacher Stamp Set on the left and the Teacher Die Set on the right. This teacher stamp set is small, great price point, big teacher word, and many different sentiments that you can add with it that I haven't seen before, like the world's best teacher award goes to you, uh, you make a difference, awesome teacher, a lot of different things you can put together. So I talked to my kids and we're going to go through my scraps on this Sunday afternoon and cut as many of those teacher die cuts as we can. And we're going to layer them all together, make a simple card, stamp some greetings around it, and have a stack of cards to give to teachers. Not only our teachers, but other teachers, because I think those teachers deserve all the praise they can get. So if you are like me and like to spoil teachers, you might want to check these out. Okay, next we have the Honey Bee Goodness Gracious stamp set over on the left. I like that it says, well, goodness gracious. And then there are two longer sentiments on there. One that says, thank you for your kindness. And one that says, you are sweeter than honey. And I like that those can be used separate from the large sentiment also, or could be used inside of the card. Now the die set, goodness gracious on the right, has the word gracious. Then it has the shadow die for that. And this, then this long banner strip that perfectly fits the sentiments over on the left. I commend Honey Bee Designs because they really do a good job making sure that their stamp set works alone, their die sets work alone, or that they work together perfectly. So it really gives you more bang for your buck. Okay, now here is a stamp set that goes along with the Honey Bee theme. Lots of different things in here just because, hi honey, meant to be, because of you. And there are some bee stamp sets that Honey Bee has come out with in the past and some that I'll show you later in this video and I'll use them on a card too. There are also the Honey Bee High Honey Dies. That's what you see there on the right. Cuts the word and the shadow. And these, of course, line up nicely with the stamp sets on the left. I really like the style or the font used with this stamp set. I think it's fun and playful and works great with their stamp sets. Next, we have a small stamp set called the Honey Bee Truly Great Friend Stamp Set. So you have that main sentiment on the top, the big one, and then there are some smaller sentiments sized to the same width below it. So you can create a stacked look or use them separately. There's also, also the Truly Great Friends die set over on the right, and all of those sentiments fit in it perfectly. 
And you can see this cuts a scallop frame with some piercing that goes right on the inside of that. So it's a great way to kind of get a quick detailed look with this frame and the stamp set. And then you can put it on any background that you may have. This next QD stamp set is the Honey Bee Bitty Patterns stamp set. I often think stamp sets like this get overlooked because people aren't really sure how to use them, but they are excellent for quick and simple cards. What you can do with this one and what I'm looking forward to doing is stamping the four patterns in different colors and a square on the top of a card. Then in the center, you could put one of those die cut words that I showed you earlier, or you could put a stamped and die cut image, anything you want in the center. So it creates a little bit, bit of interest in the background, but it doesn't take much time at all. You can also use these stamps to stamp on small die cuts to give them a bit of interest. Here's the Honey Bee Cosmos stamp. Now what is great about this stamp is that there are three large flowers included. Oftentimes stamp sets have one large flower and then some other things around it. But by having three different large flowers, you can really cover a card with different looks. I think this would be fun to white heat emboss uh, repeatedly on a background and then do watercolor over it. Or if you stamp this with alcohol lift ink on an alcohol ink background, I think it'd be gorgeous. And I'll link to a video here that shows how to do that. And there are coordinating dies available for all these different stamp sets. Here we have the Chin Up Buttercup stamp set. Again, some more flowers here. I like that there are three once again including some leaves so you can get different looks. I know many of you are fans of the animals that Honey Bee Designs does. This is Bill the Bear, and this is a large six by eight stamp set, so that bear is a pretty good size. And there are many different things that you can stamp on him to create different scenes. Scene building can be really fun on card making, and this makes it very easy. Now the coordinating dies for this are really special because it cuts the arm of the bear. So you can stamp your bear, die cut him, and then you can tuck the different things under his arms of the die cut. So you can put in the fishing pole, a stick for the s'mores. You can even use other images like maybe some presents and put it under his arms for a holiday card. It's fun to mix and match these. This is the Honey Bee Warm Wishes stamp set. So you can stamp warm wishes or warm hugs. And then you can even put a little argyle print on the sweater of this cute little fox. This guy looks cute next to the bear also, and Honey Bee has done some other animals in the past. This next stamp set cracks me up. This is a bigger one. It's four inches by eight inches, and it's called the Honey Bee No Problema. So it's got this fun llama image that you can decorate with the little hat and glasses and such. And my favorite sentiment combo in here is another birthday, no problema. So you can stamp sentiments on the inside and the outside of the card with this one. And this is one of those sets that you can make a card for just about anyone with. It's fun and playful. Now here we have the Honey Bee Beehive stamp set on the left and its coordinating die set. Now I use these little bees a little later in this video. However, I think it'd be fun to do a shaker card with this. So you could have the hive and then you can create a die cut window using the coordinating die and then fill it with little die cut bees so they kind of shake around the little beehive. Then over on the left is the birds and the bees stamp set. For those of you who like to build scenes on a card, this is like a dream come true because there are many different things that you can create with it. You can add pears, apples, cherries, flowers, birds, anything you want to this branch. And there's even a nest, a birdhouse, and a beehive. So this teams up nicely with a lot of the sentiment stamp sets that I showed you earlier. And the coordinating die set also cuts all of these pieces, so you have many options to use it for. The last stamp set for today is the Honey Bee Shake It Off stamp set. Now this one has everything you could include on a card if you know somebody who loves coffee. I will be using the sentiment that says a little something to perk you up on the example that I'm about to share, but many different creative sentiments in this one. Okay, now it's time to create some cards using the products I showed you, along with a couple more that I have yet to show you. The first is this clear jar card. Now this one, I, this is really fun and I can't wait to use this for holiday cards too. This is the Honey Bee Mason Jar die set. 
It's got this large die. I'll show you how to use it. And then also some pieces you can use along with it. You can cut the large die from 12 inch wide paper by running it through your die cut machine twice. Once to cut one side and the other to cut the other side. And then you just fold it in half. However, if you don't have paper that big, I wanted to show you another trick. I wanted to use acetate to have a clear card. So I'm cutting one side of the die from some Hero Arts acetate. And that's what you see me doing here. Next, I'll do that again with another piece of acetate. So I end up with two jars that are clear. Now for acetate, you could use any thick packaging that you might have that you can recycle, or instead you could use regular cardstock. So now I have these two clear jars, but I need something to connect them. So I'm taking the same die, and that middle section where the fold is, I'm gonna cut from white cardstock. I'm trimming off the excess, so it's trimming right up against the lip of the lid there. So this lid piece will fold over the two clear pieces connecting them. And that will be the hinge of our card. So there are many ways you could assemble this, but I thought I'd show you the way that I did it. I felt it was best to use a strong double-sided adhesive to glue these pieces together. I'm putting adhesive on one side of the lid and laying one of the clear die cuts up to it, lining it up. And then I'll do the same on the other side. And now we have a card that opens up nicely. That mason jar die set includes a lid die. So I die cut that from some silver shiny cardstock and I'm gluing that on top here to hide our adhesive so it doesn't show through. That way our clear acetate is sandwiched between and it'll stay put and you won't see that adhesive. I thought this shiny silver cardstock was perfect for the lid also. And I added the silver die cut on both sides of the card. Now there are many things that you can do with this card, but I wanted to make sure that it held a gift card. We have a breakfast place called uh, Sleepy Bee that's nearby, and I thought it went well with this Honey Bee theme. So I'm using their new Honey Bee gift card pocket die. This is also new with this release, and it is the easiest pocket die I've ever used. Very easy to assemble. You just fold along the score lines, Put some strong adhesive on those flaps and fold over and you have the perfect gift card slot. And I like that it holds it nicely so that it won't slip out when the recipient opens up the card. But there is that notch on the top so they can easily see it and take it out when they're ready. I also cut a piece of white cardstock that's the same size. So on the inside of the card I'm going to glue our little gift card pocket holder. Then the plain white rectangle I'll glue to the back of the card so that you can't see the adhesive on the other side. It also gives me a place where I can write or stamp, you know, handmade by Jennifer. And here you can see how easily the gift card slides into that slot. Okay, so for the sentiment, I stamped You're the Bee's Knees from the Honey Bee stamp set that I showed you earlier. And I stamped it onto a little decorative frame die cut that's included in this mason jar die set. I did mat that with a yellow cardstock and I just hand cut that mat. To hide my adhesive on the other side, I'm putting some double-sided tape behind that die cut, and then I'm adding a piece of craft cardstock that I cut into a rectangle just so there was some craft showing through the window instead of the white. I just felt that it made everything kind of pulled together nicely. So here you can see how the card opens and you have the gift card pocket inside. And you can just write your message on top of the gift card pocket. To finish the card off, I added a few of the little bees from the beehive stamp set that I showed you earlier. And I wrapped some jute around the lid a few times. Just the lid on the front of the card because I didn't want to tie the card shut. But I wrapped it around a few times and did a simple bow. So here's the finished card. You can see how it opens up nicely. You have the little gift card pocket inside, a place to write your sentiment. It fits in an A2 envelope nicely, and it'll stand up on its own. So if you like making fun shaped cards like me, something that's unexpected, this die set may be for you. Here's another fun shaped card using another new Honey Bee die set. Now this one also has a large die that when you cut it from 12 inch wide paper, it has the fold. This time the fold is at the bottom of the card, which I think is fun and different. However, I know some people don't have cardstock that big, so I wanted to show you how you can do it from smaller pieces. So I'm gonna take that large die and I'm cutting it from some craft cardstock. Now this isn't gonna cut the entire thing. 
that's okay. I'm just going to cut off right along the bottom here a little flap. So just about a half inch from the score line. So there's that little flap on the bottom. Okay, then I will cut another piece. This will be for the other side of the card. Again, you just wanna make sure you get a full cup there. But this time I'm cutting right along the score line. So we can easily attach these together and create a card with a fold that's on the bottom of the card, which is really fun. So I'm using a strong liquid adhesive here. This is Gina K Connect. I'm going to put my two pieces together and then fold that flap over. And this will be the back of the card. Here's the front of the card. And there we have our fun shape card with a little hinge on the bottom. Now I put some pieces together here. I added a sentiment from the stamp set that I showed you earlier. And on the straw, I decided to make it look kind of like a candy cane straw. So I put some red stripes on it with a red marker. I added the whipped cream and lid die cuts to the card. I created a little gift card pocket using that same die. I'm adding that to the inside so I can add a little Starbucks gift card into that. I also added some Walnut Nouveau drops to the whipped cream on the top so it looks like chocolate syrup. And it really did dry nicely to look like chocolate syrup. I also even have a piece of acetate in there to be the clear lid on the card. So here's the final card with the gift card in the pocket. You've got the sentiment on the front along with a few little die cut hearts. And that's the finished card. Now this one's bigger. So I put this one in a five by seven envelope. I hope this video showing you a closer look at this great Honey Bee release is helpful and that you can get some ideas from it. If you are interested in these products, I do link them below in my description, but go to my blog for a lot more information. In the middle are a couple other videos that might be helpful. I always appreciate you spending time with me. Thank you so much and we'll see you again soon.